You're rolling. All right. Here we are at our secret machine shop that's out of my shop. We only have a couple of CNC machines. Ours is mainly R&D, and we do some prototypes for the tour and some one-offs for special customers. But here is where high production is done. And if you take a look, you've got this machine, this machine. We've got three or four or five other machines that we have access to that run high power, fast speeds, and they're just really good tolerance machines. Well, now we're just bringing the, these putters here today just to put the radius face on them. So the technology that we have requires a CNC machine to come in and put the radius face and the grooves back in it to where it incurs top spin every single time. So we go out of our way to make sure that your Saturday and Sunday golf is a lot more fun. Take it easy. There's what you see of the AMG 26 setup piece. Okay. All right. Well, here we are with our F18 and F22 and F22 longs. We're putting on the MRR face, the multi rebound radial, which we put a 3D radius on the face that's a 10 inch radius, so it's very, very subtle. You can hardly see it. And then we come in and we put grooves in the insert that follows that 3D radius. So now that the machine has all been programmed, it's real easy. All I got to do is hit go. And so I'll just hit green and we'll go. <laughs> on the face first, come back and do the grooves after. difference between a Kmart putter and a Bobby Gray putter. That's right. <laughs> or a Scotty Cameron putter and a Bobby Gray putter. Alright, now I think you can see, yep, you can see the grooves that we just put in there. And all the effort it takes to get to that. That little tiny, believe it or not, that little tiny pin rider right there does it. With a whole lot of horsepower. There's the machining center. 